How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting a fuzz? What's going on, people? It's the day of another day of another day that we call it would have been said what's gonna be well hopefully everybody's doing everything as far as being safe on this day it's kind of like a little gloomy and stuff you know the thing is i notice at night time when you're sleeping and stuff well i don't know about you but me i'm always up and i notice that it's always like something's going on beyond the clouds i want you to start taking note of that when you're in that you know when night time comes um just listen to what's going on above the clouds because i know that there's some type of way there they can get um, um, planes and stuff that can move that we don't see them, but actually it's happening. I don't know what's going on, but I'm always hearing this over here where I'm located and stuff. And I know it's not airplanes and stuff. It's too many and it's too um, ongoing. I just wanted to share that with you and stuff because I had this dream about um, a fight. I think I told you about that. And then something clicked off. Um, oh. I had a dream about a fight, remember? And then all of a sudden I got the thing about, I hate you, um, you're dead bitch, or something like that. Anyway. And the thing about it, now, some of you don't understand, I've been going through this since April 2008. Um, normally if you probably, because people always ask me, like, you don't get that much hate in your page, just because I delete it. It's not that it only exists, it's just I don't let other younger people like me, um, uh, see this because I don't want to discourage them. I also didn't want to make them say, you know what, I give up. I give up, you know, just kill myself. And why I always feel so close to people who try to kill stuff because I was also one of those people who tried it as well and um, unsuccessfully, which I made another video about that as well. Unsuccessfully, well, I guess successfully, I'm still here, but the thing about it is that I think when you're a person that's like an earthly, they call it earth angels and stuff. Earth angels is somebody who could feel someone else's pain and everything someone goes through. Well, other people just look at it and just dismiss it with that person as far as being in touch with other people's feelings and stuff. It bothers them way more than it really needs to. And of course, a lot of resolve issues that doesn't make sense. And you know, we're always going back and forth about this too. Should I keep taking hormones or should I start picking up the liquor? Take hormones, take up the liquor. You know, it's like, just my opinion. I don't know why I'm still taking it. I just don't because it's like, you're trying to make yourself look more soft and passable. But for what? For whom? These men don't want her. They want him. They don't want her. So why am I doing this? And then the thing about it, if I do meet somebody who wants to be me, I'm just going to be used and thrown away when he's finished. So why am I even doing it? Because at the end of the day, these girls are dying from cancer from this medicine. They are dying from cancer, real fucking talk. These girls are dying, and for what? Some of them said, well, baby, they didn't do it for um, a man that's the difference and stuff. I'm sorry, just my opinion. I, I, I just don't see it. I understand you want the um, one part of you to match with the other part. I get it. But at the end of the day, just my opinion. You, it's really kind of girls like Reverend, I did for myself. I mean, then that's fine. Just my opinion when it comes to me. I did not come on like this just to sit around and have to look at myself in the mirror and just play with myself. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't like the outlook of it at all. And I've talked about this before because I'm black and nice. I probably did gay men. But these allegedly straight men that does God gay things. And I get that too. I don't, I'm not even going to go down that path anymore because I'm over it. But I got to the point where I refuse to even date. I don't refuse to have anyone around me. I refuse to do any communication. I refuse too much. And the thing about it is that I just kept saying to myself, but you know what I need to do? I need to move into a whole new location. But when I get there, I don't want to get surprised. I can, you know, you just move, but the same shit you found here, you go on here with it. But in reality is that I do want to move. And I do want, and I said that before and I said my job since so speaking, I don't want to be in Jersey anymore. I don't care where it is. It's time for a change. Like, it's no reason why I'm here. It's no reason. And I, I get it. It's bad everywhere. I get it. But 
Sometimes you need to see a new bag instead of the same old bag, you know. Even though a lot of videos I've done has nothing to do with where I'm located and stuff. But me, myself, I'm a low-key type of person and stuff. And probably issues that could have happened or guys that walked into me and tried to approach me. And I blew them off because even if he knows, if he don't know, I just don't... I don't know if I can take another man just rejecting me and abandoning me. I know some guys here that are and don't think all men are bad. I don't think all men are bad, but my thing is this. I can't test out every man in the world. I cannot test out every man in the world and try to find out which one is the My heart can't take it. Because at a certain point of the mistreatment and the treating like dirt, you're going to start acting out. And then you're going to actually be, I'm already saying my jaded bit of bitch, but then I'll be to the point I'll put my hands on him, I'm ready to fight, I'm ready to, you know, go to jail like I don't even care anymore because the beat down has been so much and it becomes a point where, why don't we even take hormones? Should I just be drinking alcohol, take a look at, hell, why should he be trying for a regular job? I just be a prostitute and just go out and some my motherfucking shit because then after the day, that's all they want. They want the sex, so I might as well make it a whole damn company. And if I go to jail, that's part of the fucking job. You know, it, it's just so amazing how you can see life through a whole different area when you start seeing things that once you stop wiping past the rainbow eyes of everything else, start dealing with the truth. Now the thing about it is that you say, well, I'm going to get a job so I get a respect. Well, man, these motherfucking men don't give a fuck. They just want to do as fuck. They want to see how long before they can get away with it. There's some girls right here who get the pass for us being with the men and stuff, and he loves her. And I'm not saying he's not out there, and probably not for me as well, but he's not going to find me because at the end of the day, I don't think my heart can take another man. I just don't. I think, I hate to say this, but I do feel as I know some good men, but I do feel as I'm too ruined. I'm too ruined. When God see me, I'll be like, listen, you can do better. Don't put yourself down. I guess they feel like, oh, you just brushed me off. It's not even that. It's not even that. Doing I talk to some guys, they, 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 they prove me right. They show me that there's still more assholes out here, still more fucked up people out here, and it doesn't help me. It doesn't help me move forward, but it does help me be still and don't move forward. When I see people cheating, when I talk to guys who got girlfriends, I'm like, this, 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 like, really, this is what the fuck I'm heading into? So I have a man and he's sitting up another bitch trying to fuck her and then tell me that they're having problems. You know, so it's like, I need the good things, you know what I mean? So it's like, it gets to the point where I, I'm at a loss because it's like so much darkness and not enough light, you know what I mean? And someone can understand what I'm saying. It's just too much dark and I need some light coming in somewhere. Get a job and stuff. I don't even care if they know what I am. I, I really don't. But I'm not concerned to say, oh, I'm trying to. I'm like, you'll figure it out, bitch. And at the end of the day, when you ask them, I say, absolutely not. Absolutely not. No, I'm not. I ain't like, what well, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to say no. I'm going to stick right by. If you can get a motherfucking president to sit up and say, he don't give up taxes, he don't give a fuck, then I can send it by our own ground too. Since we're in the, we're in the business of that people get away with shit, then fuck it. I don't know the fuck if the blind person can figure me out. No. I'm not giving the answer, no. I'm just over it, you know, and it's sad because you're moving forward with a broken heart and a broken spirit. And every though you may cry inside that they can't see the tears that's falling down your face because they're still falling inside of you, it makes you just move forward with a lot of sadness. And yet still, there's other people with more advice to save you. And you're looking at them saying, well, who you ain't? Nobody. It's just amazing. And then there's people who say, well, I got a man, I got a man. But is he really your man? Is you really sharing that dick? Hell, is that really your girl? Is you really sharing that dick or that coochie? You know, and it's what it is. I just don't believe in nothing no more. I'm just, I don't know. It's just like I'm just over it. Just like with the thing of the guy on kick and stuff, Paul, whatever his name is. Um, I, I, I see it all the time. It's not like it's new to me. So it's not like I'm afraid of like, oh my God. I was telling you before, when the Bill of the Beast is more than him, it could be somebody I've already been with before, but that's what they do. It could be somebody I've been trying to help before. That's what they do. That's the way we live in. And you know, I always get to that point where I just need to stop taking hormones, just give my look and just stay fucked up. Do like the other bitches, get some heroin and get high and fucking hang on the streets and just say fuck it. Because it just seems like a big fucking waste of time sometimes. It just seems like a big waste of time. 
but I do see things a lot more, um, probably more sensitive than most, but I just don't get a lot of things. Anyway, I just wanted to share this on this called blogging, so I just figured I'd share you with you I've been feeling for anyway. a little while. Because I know a lot of you always hit me up, it's like, baby, why are you so unhappy? Why are you upset? The thing is, I overthink everything. Like, things just don't make sense to me. Like, it just don't make sense to me. It's just so many things don't make sense to me. And I know I'm never probably going to get an answer, so sometimes you have to accept things for the truth. And I understand hate is real. They don't even bother me. Look, I'm, I don't even respond to it. I'm like, well, you know what? If you have, come get me. I'm ready for you. So I don't even care. Like, I'm just over it. It's like, I just need some good things to happen, but it's like, it's always something bad to overtop the other bad thing. Anyway, I just want to share this with you and stuff, um, as far as what I'm going through, as far as even taking my hormones and stuff and just start drinking liquor. Some people say do both, but at the end of the day, um, I don't know. I haven't been drinking, but thought about it. Anyway. I just want to share this with you, subscribe to my channel because I want you to do it. We're going to do some venting, some back and forth, some sisterhood, some brotherhood, whatever the case may be. But a lot of things that's beginning on out there and there's we keep seeing in this world as far as in our truth and how people have been handling things. Anyway, baby, I'd love to hear you back this and subscribe to my channel. And remember, follow me on Instagram. That's Raven underscore over. That's Raven underscore over. This will get a chance to see a lot of things. If you follow me, I'll follow you back. I love you. Like I said before, once you follow me on Instagram, that's Rave underscore over. That's Rave underscore over. This way you get a chance to see a lot more things that I don't put on YouTube. And also, I want you to subscribe to my channel. Yeah. Anyway, like I said before, um, I want you to follow me on Instagram. This way you get a chance to see a lot more things that I don't put on YouTube. And I want to subscribe to my channel. I ain't trying to build my family up to make it even bigger than it ever could be. Anyway, I love your feedback on this. I want you to... Uh, Love you.